The unfortunate side effect of creatine. Have you ever started taking creatine and suddenly thought, is this normal? If you have, trust me, you're definitely not the only one. A lot of people jump into creatine because it's known for boosting strength, increasing muscle mass, and giving you a solid performance edge. And yes, all of that is true. Creatine is actually one of the most researched, safest, and most effective supplements you can take. It's been studied for decades, used by athletes all over the world, and even recommended for cognitive support and overall energy production. But despite all of those benefits, creatine still has a few quirks that can catch beginners off guard. The funny thing is, nobody really talks about these little surprises. Most people only mention the good stuff, the gains, the energy, the better workouts. But then you start taking it, and suddenly you're standing in front of the mirror thinking, wait, why do I look a little puffy? Or, why am I so thirsty today? And that's when the questions start pouring in. Is this normal? Should I be worried? Is creatine actually causing this? Don't stress. The answer is almost always yes. It's normal, and no, there's nothing to worry about. These unintended side effects are part of how creatine works in your body. They're not dangerous, they're not harmful, and most of them are temporary. That's why today, we're breaking down six unintended side effects of creatine, the ones nobody warns you about. But honestly, everyone should know before they start. But before we begin, drop your name and the city you're watching from in the comments below. All right, let's begin. Number six, water retention. So let's start with the most obvious one, water retention. This is the side effect almost everyone notices first, especially if they've never taken creatine before. Creatine works by pulling extra water into your muscle cells, and that's actually one of the reasons it's so effective. When your muscles have more water, they stay hydrated, function better, and can generate more energy during intense workouts. That's why creatine users often say their muscles feel fuller, rounder, or more pumped. It's not magic. It's literally your muscles storing more water so they can perform. At a higher level, but of course, there's a flip side to all of this. Because your muscles suddenly hold more water than usual, you might wake up one morning, look in the mirror, and think, why do I look a bit puffier today? Or maybe your stomach feels a little bloated, even though you didn't eat anything unusual. This can be especially noticeable in the first week when your muscles are rapidly saturating with creatine. Some people experience it more intensely than others, depending on things like diet, hydration, and how quickly their body absorbs creatine. Here's the important part though. Relax, because this is not fat gain. A lot of people freak out because they see the scale go up or they feel slightly swollen, and they immediately think they're gaining fat. But that's just not how creatine works. There's zero fat storage mechanism involved. What you're experiencing is simply extra water being held inside your muscles, not under your skin. That means it's not the same kind of bloating you get from eating salty food. Or overeating, think of your muscles like little water magnets. When you start taking creatine, those magnets switch on and start pulling in water so they can function like high-performance machines. It's your body preparing you for better training, faster recovery, and more strength output. Over time, most people stop noticing the water retention completely because their body adjusts and the initial puffiness levels out. And honestly, many lifters love this effect. That fuller, denser look is exactly what makes muscles appear more toned and pumped. It's one of the reasons creatine is so popular among athletes, bodybuilders, and even casual gym dashgoers. So, if you feel a little extra swollen during the first few days, don't stress. It's just your muscles gearing up for better performance. Your body isn't working against you. It's actually working for you. Number 5. A sudden jump on the scale. Don't panic if the number on the scale suddenly jumps up by 1 to 3 kilos after you start taking creatine. This is one of the most common things people notice, and it can be a little shocking if you're not expecting it. You might step on the scale after just a few days and think, wait, why am I heavier? But before you stress or think about quitting creatine, let's break down what's actually happening inside your body. Because the truth is, this weight gain is not something to worry about. In fact, it's usually a sign that creatine is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. First of all, this extra weight is not body fat. It's not because you ate too much, skipped a workout, or suddenly stored fat overnight. What's happening is simple. Your muscles are absorbing more water and storing more glycogen 
which is the fuel your body uses for energy during intense workouts. Think of glycogen like premium gasoline for your muscles. The more you have, the better your performance. When your muscles store glycogen, they naturally pull in water too. That combination leads to a small but noticeable increase on the scale. But here's the part most people don't realize. This increase in water and glycogen is actually a good thing. It's a sign that your muscles are becoming more hydrated, more energized, and more prepared to perform at a higher level. Hydrated muscle cells contract better, recover faster, and generate more power. That means you'll likely feel stronger in the gym, notice better endurance, and be able to push through more reps and heavier lifts. Think of the weight gain as an investment. Your muscles are loading up on everything they need to help you train harder and build real strength. It's like your body is upgrading its internal performance system. The scale might show a higher number, but that number represents increased energy storage, better hydration, and improved output, not fat. And here's another reassurance. This weight gain usually stabilizes. After the first week or two, your body adjusts and the rapid increase stops. You won't keep gaining weight endlessly. It's just the initial saturation phase that creates the quick jump so the next time you step on the scale and see an extra kilo or two, don't let it scare you. Remind yourself that your muscles are simply preparing you for stronger workouts, better performance, and faster gains. This is your body leveling up, not expanding with fat. Number 4. Increased Thirst Creatine pulls water into the muscles, so your body naturally asks for more. This is one of those side effects that people don't always expect but it makes perfect sense once you understand what's happening inside your body. When you start taking creatine, your muscle cells begin to store extra water as part of the process that helps improve strength, energy production, and overall workout performance. Because your muscles are holding more water than usual, your body needs additional fluids to keep everything balanced. It's kind of like upgrading your muscles to bigger water tanks. If the tanks get bigger, they need more water to stay full. So if you suddenly notice yourself drinking more water than usual, that's completely normal, and honestly, it's actually a good thing. Many people feel an increased sense of thirst during the first few days or weeks of using creatine. You might find yourself finishing water bottles faster, craving cold drinks more often, or feeling thirsty in situations where you normally wouldn't. This isn't dehydration. It's simply your body signaling, hey, we're using more water now, keep it coming. Staying hydrated is incredibly important when you're taking creatine, because water plays a major role in supporting muscle function, digestion, temperature regulation, and overall energy levels. If your body doesn't get enough water, you might feel tired, sluggish, or even a little crampy during workouts. But when you keep your hydration on point, your body runs smoothly and efficiently. Your muscles contract better, your recovery improves, and you feel more energized throughout the day. Plus, drinking more water comes with its own benefits. Proper hydration helps your skin look healthier, improves mental focus, supports digestion, and even enhances your ability to push through tough workouts. So really, the increased thirst you feel isn't a problem, it's your body reminding you to give it the fuel. Needs Most creatine users eventually develop a natural habit of carrying a water bottle everywhere or sipping water more consistently during the day and that's a great habit to have, whether you're an athlete or just someone trying to live a healthier lifestyle. So don't worry if you find yourself visiting the water dispenser more often or refilling your bottle again and again. It's not weird, it's not bad, and it's definitely not a sign that something's wrong. It simply means your muscles are doing their job and your body is asking for what it needs to keep performing at its best. Stay hydrated and your body will run smoothly inside and out. Number 3 mild stomach discomfort. If you're new to creatine, you might feel a bit bloated or uncomfortable, especially if you take it on an empty stomach. This is one of those totally normal but slightly annoying side effects that can show up during your first few days of supplementing. For some people, the discomfort feels like a light pressure in the stomach. For others, it might feel like mild gas, a little heaviness, or that weird I ate too fast sensation. None of this means creatine is harming you. It's just your digestive system adjusting to something new, especially if you suddenly introduce a full daily dose. Creatine itself is pretty gentle, but taking it on an empty stomach can make your digestive system work a little harder to break it down and absorb it. Your stomach acid levels, digestion speed, and even the type of creatine you're using can influence how your body reacts. Monohydrate, the most common 
and most studied form, is extremely effective but can cause mild bloating in a small percentage of users. It's not dangerous, not unusual, and definitely not a sign that you should stop taking it. Here's the good news. There's a super simple fix. Just take creatine with food or split your dose throughout the day. That's it. Taking it with meals slows down the absorption slightly, giving your stomach something to buffer against the powder. This helps prevent that quick, concentrated hit that sometimes causes discomfort. Splitting your dose, for example, taking half in the morning and half later in the afternoon is another easy trick that many people find helpful. It keeps things gentle on your digestive system and still gives your muscles all the creatine they need. Another tip, mix your creatine thoroughly in warm water or tea so it dissolves better. Even though creatine monohydrate doesn't fully dissolve, using warm liquid helps reduce the gritty texture that some people find irritating to their stomachs. Within a few days, most people notice the bloating disappear completely as their body gets used to the supplement. Once you're past that short adjustment phase, creatine is usually smooth sailing, no discomfort, no weird stomach feelings, just better energy and improved performance during your workouts. So don't worry if you feel a bit off in the beginning. It doesn't mean creatine isn't for you. It simply means your body is adapting. Take it with food or split your dose. Easy fix, no problem, and you'll be back to normal in no time. Number 2. Temporary Muscle Cramping Some people experience light muscle cramps if they're dehydrated or low on electrolytes, and this can sometimes happen when starting creatine. It's not a dangerous side effect, and it definitely doesn't mean creatine is damaging your muscles. What's really going on is much simpler. When creatine pulls extra water into your muscle cells, which is exactly what it's supposed to do, your body suddenly needs more fluids and minerals to keep everything balanced. If you're not drinking enough water or your electrolytes are already low, your muscles might react by cramping up a bit during workouts or even afterward. These cramps can feel like a mild tightness, a sudden grab in the muscle, or a little twitch that won't quite calm down. And while they can be annoying, they're usually short-lived and easy to fix. Think of it like your muscles, sending a text message saying, hey, we need more water down here. Creatine increases the demand for hydration and electrolytes because it changes how water is distributed inside your muscles. If the rest of your body doesn't keep up, a cramp might sneak in. Again, hydration is key. Drinking enough water throughout the day helps your muscles stay flexible, energized, and ready to perform. And it's not just water. Your body also needs sodium, potassium, and magnesium to keep your muscles contracting and relaxing smoothly. When these minerals drop too low, your muscles become more sensitive and can cramp even if you're not doing anything intense. Most of these cramps disappear fast once you hydrate properly. A simple fix like drinking an extra glass of water, adding a pinch of salt to your meals, or eating potassium-rich foods like bananas or oranges can make a big difference. If you work out intensely or sweat a lot, an electrolyte drink or supplement can also help keep your levels balanced. Another helpful tip is to spread your creatine dose throughout the day instead of taking it all at once, especially if you've noticed cramping before. This gives your body more time to adjust to the increase in water inside the muscles. So don't stress if you experience a little tightness during the first few days of creatine. Your body isn't malfunctioning, it's just reminding you to stay hydrated and keep your minerals in check. Once you do, those cramps usually fade away quickly and you can enjoy all the performance benefits creatine has to offer without the unwanted surprises. Number 1. Better Gym Performance And finally, the side effect that everyone actually wants. After hearing about water retention, extra thirst, and a bit of stomach adjusting, this is the part that makes people say, okay. Now this is why I'm taking creatinine, because at the end of the day, Creatine's biggest side effect is simply that it works really well. Once your muscles are fully saturated with creatine, you'll start noticing little performance upgrades that add up to big changes over time. It becomes easier to lift heavier weights, push through those last few reps, and keep your energy levels higher throughout the workout. You're not magically becoming stronger overnight. Your muscles are simply using energy more efficiently. Creatine boosts your body's ability to recycle ATP. Your muscles, primary energy source, which means you get more power in short bursts of high-intensity activity. That's why sprinters, weightlifters, and even casual gym lovers swear by it. Feeling more explosive during lifts, that's creatine. 
Recovering faster between sets? Yep, creatine again. Not hitting that usual wall halfway through your session. You guessed it, creatine doing its job quietly in the background. What athletes love about creatine is its reliability. It's not like a pre-workout that gives you a temporary buzz and wears off. Creatine builds up in your system over time, giving you steady, consistent performance improvements. It helps your muscles store more energy, repair themselves more efficiently, and handle stress better. So even if you aren't trying to be a professional athlete, creatine still gives you noticeable benefits that make your workouts feel more productive and satisfying. And honestly, one of the coolest parts is how creatine helps with recovery. You don't feel as sore, you bounce back faster, and you're ready for the next training session sooner. For anyone trying to build strength or grow muscle, this is a massive advantage. The faster you recover, the more consistently you can train, and the more consistently you train, the better your results. So yes, while creatine has a few quirky side effects, this final one is the reason people keep coming back to it year after year. Stronger lifts, better endurance, quicker recovery, and workouts that just feel smoother and more powerful. This is the side effect everyone actually wants. And the best part, it's backed by years of research and real-world results. Creatine doesn't just promise improvement, it actually delivers so. Which of these creatine side effects have you felt? Maybe you noticed the water retention during the first week, or maybe the scale jumped up a little faster than you expected. Or perhaps you suddenly found yourself chugging water like it's your new full-time job. Whatever your experience is, share it down in the comments. Your story might help someone else who's just starting their creatine journey and wondering if what they're feeling is normal? Plus, I always love reading your experiences and seeing how differently creatine can affect everyone. Therefore, if you want to see what happens after stopping creatine, we've left a video appearing right now on the screen showing each one of them. Don't miss checking it out. Thank you for watching until here, and may God bless you my friend.